In this video, I'm going to show you how you can put a link to the URL for your ePortfolio, which is just a website, into the discussion about the ePortfolio. And this way we can all see it and you can access it when we present in class that way. So you would um, be in the course in D2L. And then if you, to get to the um, discussion for the ePortfolio, you can do it through um, the content. And if you go way back to the beginning of the course when we talked about communication careers and electronic portfolios, you would be able to find it that way. Or you can go to the um, communication and then discussions and scroll down till you get to the e-portfolio. So I'm going in it through the content, but you can go through it either way. And I'm actually in here. This is my student view. And so you, it, this should look exactly how it will look for you in order to do it. Now the other thing that you're going to need to have open is your ePortfolio. So if you use the Google Apps for Education through Hack, you would get into that through um, my Hack. If you have your own Google site, however it is that you created your Google site, you just need to get to your Google site. And I'm going to go over here. If, if you're, if when you click on this square here, if you're not seeing sites, if you just keep clicking more and you'll go down and you'll eventually see where you can get to sites. So you want to go to your Google Sites. And from there, you're going to find the ePortfolio that you're going to share. You most likely will maybe only have one. And then get into that document, get into that site. In order to link this into a discussion in D2L, you're going to need to get the URL. And the best way to do that is just to click the Share button. And you'll see here, this is the web address, the URL for your Google uh, Sites and for your ePortfolio. So if you right click that, you can just copy it. And then let's go back over into the discussion and you could start a new thread. And title it however you want to title it. And then if you get down here into content, normally when you're replying to a discussion, you would just <clears throat> type right in here. And I'm going to do that. Now to make a link, if you see this little thing here that looks like a paper clip, it says insert quick link, go ahead and click on that. And you have some different options. What you're going to choose is the URL, click the URL. And then you can paste that URL that you copied from your Google site, you can paste it right in there. And then call it something. I do like to open in a new window, but it doesn't necessarily matter if you do or not. And so once you put the URL, you've titled it with something, you just can click the insert button and you'll see that it's right there. And then just like you would with the discussion, you click the blue post button and you now have a new post. And let's just go ahead and test that out. let that run. It's going to ask you to sign in. <clears throat> so you just click that. And I'm gonna, even though I'm signed in, it's probably going to ask you to do that again. Um, and there we go. There is a link. And so right from the discussion, I can get right to the ePortfolio. Now any changes, you can go ahead and, and link this out now if you want to. Any changes that you make to your ePortfolio, that's all going to be reflected here because this you're just creating the link to the URL for your ePortfolio. Any changes you make are, are always going to be there anytime anybody clicks on that link. And that is how you put a link to your ePortfolio in the ePortfolio discussion on D2L.